Hi there guys. Well, I wasn't planning to film right now, but uh, I was having some some success with a new project and I thought I'd go ahead and film it. So, uh, very quickly, this is called a 6 horsepower International Model M engine. And it's something that has been sitting around for a while. Uh, sorry about all the junk piled around it, but that'll change when the snow melts from around it. But, um, short story on this engine, it's pretty much, I've got all the parts, uh, not all the parts are on it right now, I have the carburetor for it, and the rocker assembly, the igniter is there, but, problem on this engine is the governor's froze up, the, the weights there are frozen up and then it's got a collar, that rotates around the flywheel it's got a collar that has to slide back and forth as the governor works and that's all froze up and so I've determined what I'd really like to do to free that up is to get these flywheels off and that is a bit of a pain to say the least but I really would like to get these off if I could just so they're they're serviceable because they're you know they're rusted on and um, what I'm trying to do right now, the first thing I need to do is I have to pull this gib key out. This is a gib key. It's a key that goes all the way back through that flywheel. And it's got this gib sticking out. And the way that I have to get this out is I have to put a puller or a wedge in there and beat it down in hopes of getting this, of forcing this key out. And so I bought a puller. They make pullers for this. It looks kind of like a like a real long, narrow steel wedge. I started with it, but the problem that I, that I was having was that the wedge was it was wanting to pop out, you know, pop out this way, and it was starting to to deform the the gib here. You know, it's it's a nice sharp edge right now, but it was just. Uh, destroying itself so I had to come up with something else and here's what I came up with because these flywheels have these bosses right here for the the pulley different size pulleys that you can put on this motor what I needed to do this is my puller and basically what I'm doing is I'm hammering on that thing and here's the gib key on that side and as I hammer this down it's gonna force that gib key out well the problem I was having is that the puller was wanting to pop out this way so what I did is I just cut a little chunk of steel just the right length so it would go between this knob here and it would hold that gib key good and tight down where it's supposed to be and I don't know if you can see, but I got a little bit of movement there. See that shiny part? So uh, I'm going to put this camera on a tripod and see what happens. Okay, let me get my gloves on. Oh, look at that. like a dream. Didn't start that way. But once it popped loose, it went. Now, I've used up my puller, but what I could probably do from now is maybe get a punch behind here and, uh, you know, just punch it the rest of the way out. It's pretty easy now. So, I think what I'll do, I'll set up for the other side, and we'll see if I can pull the other gib key on camera from start to finish. Okay, let's see if we can get this other gib key out. <clears throat> now, 
Now I had to go find a different piece of steel. Because the one I used over there was just a bit too wide. And another thing I did, I don't know if this will show up on camera, but I had to grind a little bit of a taper into this. I, I ground off this this corner of the the puller in this corner so that this side is fatter than that side and what it what happens is when I put it in there like that it'll tend to wedge this puller that way and it'll try to resist it from popping out. Uh, I don't think that in itself is enough to keep this puller from uh, pulling out but it helps so now I've got to get clamp on there. Okay. And that should be about all it's going to take. So let's see what happens. This is probably going to start hard. But once it pops loose, once it pops loose, it should keep going. You know what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to see if I can set up for you to actually see the key better. Okay, let's try that. So here's the, the gib of that key. That's what I'm trying to pop out. felt it. We're going. That's pretty cool. So that's really only half the battle of getting these flywheels off. And gib keys can be one of the worst jobs to do on a, an engine like this. But those are taken care of. So the next thing I'm going to have to do is get some emery cloth. And I'm going to have to sand and polish those, those shafts up really well. And then I'm going to have to find some kind of a big puller to pull the flywheels off. Once that's done, I can, uh, I can free up the governor on this flywheel. And then uh, another thing I'm going to do, I'll give you guys a little bit of a bonus view here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these bearing blocks off. And I'm going to pull the crankshaft out of the engine for a couple reasons. One is, you can't see that in there, but that is just full of grease and oil and water residue, I'm sure, and there's even acorns and stuff like that because critters have been in there. So I want to flush all that out, and then you probably can't see, you might see the, oh yeah, you can see it. There's the big old crank on these M series internationals to lubricate that crank they actually had a grease cup that goes right there it's a left hand thread grease cup so that even as the engine was running you could just grab a hold of that grease cup and give it a little bit of grease without having to stop the engine most engine most hit and miss engines had a grease cup on the crank on the rod itself which meant you had to stop the engine to lubricate the the crank. 
But I think that's something kind of cool that they did on these motors. But anyway, what I was getting into is that my grease cup is missing. So this hole is just full of old grease and dirt and who knows what. So I want to take this crankshaft out and flush that passage really well before I even attempt to put new grease into it and run this engine. So anyway, fun stuff. That feels pretty good to have those things out of there. Um, I'll see you guys next time.